You know, when I looked at this story, it reminded me of a woman I used to work with. And I remember it was summertime and I had to go into her cubicle for something. And I, it was a long time ago and I can't quite remember why I had to go to her. But I remember she had a brown patch on her shoulder. And I was asking her, I said, what is that? She said, oh, it's skin cancer. And I said, really? She said, yeah, my doctor told me as long as it doesn't get worse, you know, it doesn't start spreading, not to worry about it. So they never did anything as far as removing it. And I was asking her, I said, well, how did you get skin cancer? And she told me, she said, when I was younger, I didn't think I needed sunblock or sunscreen or anything. So I didn't wear it. And she did exactly what this woman did. She said, I just put baby oil and she said, you just put iodine in it and you put it on. And she said, now, I now know that was a big mistake. I should have done a better job in taking care of my skin when I was younger. And, you know, and, and that was probably the first time I ever really paid attention enough to notice something like that on a person. But now when I look at many of these pictures online, I can't believe how many times I've seen it and not even know what I was looking at at the time. But I can still picture the people that I saw it on even years ago. And I'm like, wow. So this woman is from Iowa. And she had skin cancer on her nose. And for a while she ignored it because she thought it was something else and not skin cancer. So she's now trying to warn others about her melanoma. So this comes out of Iowa, NBC 13 WHO TV. And there's a video on here I'm going to let you listen to as well. So this is June 30th, 2019, Iowa Melanoma Survivor warns others to be careful about skin cancer. So, you know, she, do, she does a warning, one that's similar to many that you have heard about. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm just surprised when you look at the amount of sunscreen on the shelf that these kind of issues are still coming out. It, it just seems like, I guess, all of them just don't care to put that on. They would much rather go without it. And then later on in life, it catches up to them when they get older. You know, I even uh, did an article last year and it was talking about how many of these folks that are sunburned those are the people that will have the skin cancer later in life. And it just takes one sunburning that can lead to it. So it was interesting to find out some of these things. You know, people are still reckless when it comes down to being in the sun. Not all of us. I'm not talking about all of us. To some of us, don't even need sunscreen, but the ones that do are still reckless when it comes down to being out in the sun. And they still ignore the fact that they need some kind of protection on, whether it's through putting on actual sunscreen and clothing, sunblock, you know? And I was even reading some people get sunburned even when they're driving their car, you know, the, the sunlight just shining down on them as they're driving and they get burnt just driving around in their car. You know, it is very clear that some environments are just not for all people. You know, I know that's hard for many to accept, but that is really how you got to see this whole thing after a while. You know, it's not like it's going away. It's not going away. It's still here. And it, it's, 
you know, I'm just amazed the same things I saw growing up are the same things I'm seeing in adulthood. And if anything, I'm seeing more of it. All right, let me go ahead and play this video. Let's see here. We would, we would compete. My friends and I would compete to see who was the tannest. I, you know, it's just, it's so crazy. And I have a reminder of that now every time I look in the mirror. You can still see the surgery scars on 56-year-old Lisa Ryan's nose. I look at the pictures now, and the way I looked was pretty alarming. I wasn't really focusing on that at the time. Ryan was more focused on the fact that she was alive after she had some melanoma, a deadly skin cancer removed from her nose. The three most common kind of skin cancers are basal cell skin cancer, which is the most common, and then squamous cell skin cancer, and uh, then melanoma. Dr. Green says melanoma is the most dangerous of the three and kills around 10,000 people a year in the U.S. Ryan wasn't even thinking about skin cancer when she went to the dermatologist a couple months ago to get a cyst removed from her shoulder. As she was finishing up, she said, how long have you had that spot on your nose? And I said, oh, for quite a while. When this thing came up on my nose, I really just thought it was a sunspot or an age spot. Never had I looked in the mirror and thought this freckle on my nose is melanoma. After four surgeries, Ryan looks back on her tanning habits with regret. I was a teenager in... In the late 70s, and um, my friends and I... I would go to Clearwater Beach in West Des Moines, and we would take a bottle of baby oil and put a drop of iodine in it and shake Make it up, and that's all we would use on our skin. We would never use sunscreen. In my 20s and 30s, I don't think there was ever a time I didn't have a tanning package. Now Ryan is seeing clearer and makes sure to keep a close eye on her skin. You want to watch for new things. You want to watch for changes in existing things that you have, um, moles in particular. Um, but new things are always concerning to us, too, and they should be looked at by a dermatologist. Ryan shields herself from the sun every time she goes outside with sunscreen and protective clothing so that she can be around for her family. I'm not ready to not be here anymore. Um, you know, I, I, I remember watching my little grandson during that time. He's uh, 19 months old now and thinking, you know, if something were to happen to me, he would remember me. In West Des Moines, Maria Lizagnoli, Channel 13 News. Dr. Green says the best time to be in the sun is before 10 o'clock in the morning and after 3 p.m. when the sunlight is less direct. Remember to wear that protective clothing like hats and put on sunscreen with an SPF of at least 15. Wow. John Johnston woman is facing charges tonight after. All right. I mean, how do you survive when you know you have to be out and about? between those times they're talking about. They're saying to try to um, be out before 10 p.m. And if you have to go out again after 3 p.m. I mean, how do you do that? That's really not realistic. You know, especially when you think about jobs that people have, most people go out, you know, anytime after 12, especially for lunch. So you are out there when the sun is the strongest. When you think about it, most people are. So how do you avoid that? I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know. How do you avoid the sun? You really, truly cannot avoid the sun, especially if you have children going to school, parents going to work, or you're taking even a vacation, you're going to be in the sun. How do you avoid that? You really can't. And to be honest with you, the people around me, I don't see many of them protecting their skin at all. You may see a few on a few rare occasions, but the majority, I see them with tank tops on, shorts, flip flops, you know, they're not protecting their skin at all. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.